Next is Shaikhan Sutton. Shaikhan. For the purposes of this uh, piece of business, my name is Danny Warhawks. <laughs> so uh, we, we uh, at, the, at the spur of needing to make our, our filing deadline, we actually did finally get to the point where we understood uh, what our uh, total surplus and uh, did our full pass loans. Somewhere around here we have a checkbook for more money to pass along. We'll probably do that at the main business meeting tomorrow, the site selection business meeting. Uh, we've got some significant checks to hand out, plus two. Whoever wins the, uh, the um, 2015 race, we have a very large check for them. Uh, and we still have a remaining surplus of just under $90,000 that since we only got to about a month ago, understanding how much it was, we've only just started really exploring how much we're giving out. And there are a couple notable things that we're discussing, like uh, like Jastic and the World Con Heritage, are both uh, in our ear as well as uh, a sort of uh, World World Con uh, World Con related um, uh, issues, uh, kind of uh, locally in Chicago, uh, and that's uh, on our table. Um, anything uh, anything else that uh, people want to tackle us and say, hey, give me money. Um, as long as you're not too uh, too rough about it, uh, grab me this weekend and talk more about it. But if there's any questions. I have a question. Sure. Does that mean that you expect to disperse all your funds by the end of this year? No. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think that that is, is possible, not with that size of money. I mean, but, there, but there are some significant uh, amounts. There, there are some significant amounts that are being looked at and being asked for. So, you know, yeah. And uh, Deb needs a new house. And, uh, <laughs> Actually, sorry, the, the 90000 listed here, that's actually a, a typo. It's 9000 after the renovations to Tom Gill's house in the room. Good question. Can you buy us coffee for tomorrow morning? <laughs> can, 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 can Shai Khan buy coffee for tomorrow morning? Yeah, yeah for the business meeting, we usually uh, get coffee. Will, will, yeah. will, everybody that, will everybody that drinks the coffee tattoo Shai Khan 7 on their forehead? <laughs> You should come to Chicago where there's easy reunions to work. <laughs> if there is anyone, and I don't know, I'm not asking for myself specifically, but if there is anyone who still has outstanding expenses for whatever reason that they did not submit, given that you have a surplus, are you? Yeah, if, if anybody has anything that they think is a Shikon 7 related expense that, that they haven't been paid for, we are unaware of it and you need to get it to uh, send it to treasurer at shikon.org. Uh, to get that in, and we will get it paid as long once we, you know, prove verify that it's, it. verify that it's appropriately ours. Because yeah, if we haven't paid for it, we're very sorry, and we will pay money. So cash money on the barrel. <laughs> uh, all membership reimbursements have checks have been sent out. There's a few that I know that Joyce is going back and forth of not being cash. So if somebody hasn't seen their membership reimbursement, it's most likely a case of lost in the mail. Um, and they should, they should again pipe up to treasurer at Chicon.org and say, hey, I haven't got my check yet. So if you're aware of anybody that hasn't gotten their reimbursement check, uh, that's, that, that's, uh, they should contact. Because, um, like I said, as, as far as I'm aware, those checks all went out once a day. Any other questions? Um, I see on here you have Lone Star Con, Lone Con, and 2015. Um, what about 2014 NASA? What? I know, I know, I know. Yeah, so the question is, so are, oh, are, are we planning on giving pass along funds to a 2014 NASDAQ? Yeah. Uh, NASDAQ's not perfect. We hadn't even thought about that. So uh, that seems like it might be a reasonable use, but I don't know. Anything else? Anybody? Anybody? Thank you for your report. Long Star on three. Are you here for the next Ben. Go for it. Ben Yellow, uh, I guess I'm the closest we've got to a finance person from Lone Star Comp 3. Uh, 
We completed the report actually remarkably recently. <laughs> um, we think these numbers are correct. Right now we've got a ton of money sitting around. On the other hand, giant amounts of it are going to be flying out fairly soon. We think there will be money to pay all the amounts that have to go flying out, but you know, get another thousand people to go give away money right now! Yes. <laughs> Sorry, site selection closes on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, but that isn't our money. Giving away money, that is our money. Are there any questions? Okay. One on three. <laughs> Steve Cooper, co chair of One Con Three. Uh, don't have much to say at the moment. Uh, we've not had large amounts of, um, well, large areas of economic areas that's been relative to uh, membership <coughs> pass along, and we've had very limited expenses so far. So we do have a slightly large uh, surplus at the moment, but that will disappear very quickly. I would like to say one thing at this point. Um, one thing we've been worried about is the actual size of our convention centre being uh, matching up with the membership that's been coming in. And I'd like to thank one person specifically, which is Colin Harris for the marvellous work he did with negotiating a marvellous contract with Excel, which has given us all the space we need, with very little risk to our own side. <laughs> so, any questions? I noticed in the membership that not too many <coughs> membership compared to North America. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is fairly typical at this stage, and like most conventions, your local members join late, your distant members yeah. join much earlier. So, people in the US are thinking, well, I'm coming to Dark Block Con 3, the British ones don't have to make their mind up until a bit later. Can we get your name? I'm sorry. Uh, Steve Cooper. Steve Cooper. Yeah. Um, speaking of personally, awesome. Put the membership numbers in context. This person who does the projections for Steve and owns the budget. Um, if you take recent US World Cons, bring mine overseas generally smaller, the average number of me attending members at this point in the cycle is 1,600. We have 2,600. So we are running roughly 50% larger than any recent US World Con, including ShyCon, as of today. <laughs> Are there any questions? <laughs> so, any other questions? On the budget? If you have anything else questions, this will be at the Fantasy British Club for a couple of afternoons. Seeing none, no? uh, thank you very much for your report. So that completes the agenda for today. Yay. I would like to remind people who have been nominated for the Mark Protection Committee that they need to fill out the form which is available up here at the head table. Question of privilege, so, Mr. Chairman. Question of privilege, Mr. Chairman. This was a very before people start running out because I'm sure. I know. Mr. Mr. Chairman, this was a very long meeting and a lot of businesses run through some of it rather quickly. Could the chairman please give a relatively quick summary of what will be considered at tomorrow's business meeting? Sure. Uh, tomorrow's business meeting will basically take up the constitutional amendments which survived today, for which time limits were set. And in addition, there were two WOCON reports for which there appeared to be no representative. So I will call for representatives from those WOCONs uh, uh, tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll have the actual election uh, of the Mark Protection Committee members. And I think that's it. Yes. So, thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The reason I did that is because you'd be surprised how many people were attending this meeting who've never attended one before. Well, that's okay. I'm happy to answer such questions. I also like to say that anybody who is here who did not indicate their attendance should come up to the head table uh, after the meeting. I have the membership the attendance list up here. And in addition, there are uh, if you did not get a business meeting attendee ribbon, I have those up at the table also. And, uh, Yes, people who want to contact the, the on any of the committees, either the newly created one or the existing ones, should also contact me as a volunteer. And nominations for the Protection Move to adjourn. <laughs> uh, move to adjourn. Yeah. to adjourn. Uh, I declare Second. the preliminary business meeting uh, adjourned until tomorrow morning for the main business meeting.